That's delicious. I could eat like 20 of these. Good old ketchup. I mean, I mean, what they say, you could put it on cardboard and it would taste good. So there's no way this one's tasting bad. Today, we're gonna have you try some Puerto Rican dishes. Yes, I love food. It's a U.S. territory, right? That's that's about as far as my knowledge goes. Yes, I'm from Puerto Rico. Amarillitos, mofongo, um, I think, and then frappes, like the little like fruit drinks, are my favorite. So these dishes may not have all necessarily originated in Puerto Rico, but are commonly eaten in Puerto Rican cuisine. And the meals that you're trying today have been prepared at a local Puerto Rican restaurant here in Los Angeles. Oh wow, I'm excited, but I'm on the scared side of what you might put in front of me. I'm expecting like meats and rice. I don't know, I'm, I'm very like uneducated with this kind of stuff. I think it's much better than American dishes. American dishes don't really have that much variety in the Puerto Rico dishes are completely, ugh, just, there's no word to describe, it's just so good. Here is your first dish. That looks really good, it looks like a, like a pot sticker. I'm trying to imagine what might be in it, and I'm thinking like meat and veggies, and it smells really good. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's delicious, I could eat like 20 of these. I'm just gonna go for it. That is so good. I like the flaky outside. The meat that's inside is really tasty. It's like plain, but it's really good. I'm getting like warm and then spicy, but not spicy enough that like I'm dying. So this is called pastelillos. This is a meat-filled pastry that is very popular in Puerto Rico and throughout Latin America. They're also called empanadas. Empanadas, okay. That would make sense. Although the pastelillos in Puerto Rico usually have a thinner and more crisp shell. I like that part. Like the shell is like my favorite part. Like this like crunchiness, so good. Here's your next dish. Okay. We got some sort of like fry. It looks like dried up carrots. It looks like a like a plant that you'd see I want I'm just going to say yucca because I think people eat that. Oh, I think it's like a garlic. Is it like a garlic sauce? It's too hard. They look like french fries. I want them to be french fries, but they're clearly Puerto Rican fries. It's a little plain, even with like the garlic. I mean, it added a little, you know, a little scent to it. I'd rather have like some nice, crisp french fries. This is yuca frita, which translates to fried yuca. It's a dish made from the root of the cassava or yuca plant. Usually the root is cut into two or three inch chunks and deep fried in vegetable oil. Nice. It's a little kind of tough to chew, but especially with the garlic, it adds a lot of flavor. Here's the next one. I have no idea what this is. The Korean in me is getting a little excited because we have these things called like the like potato onion pancakes, and this looks exactly like it. It smells like... Is it catfish? Here goes nothing. Mmm, that's really good. It's kind of chewy. Mmm, crispy at the end. It reminds me of like fish and chips, but like condensed fish and chips, where it's like a really thin filet and then only a little bit of like fried batter on it. So this is called bacalao, which are codfish fritters. Fish. That's what it was. Not liking fish, I think it's much, much better than I would ever think or expect it to be. Puerto Ricans will actually commonly eat this dish as a street food. I can definitely see that. It's very greasy, it's just like a nice little snack. I'd probably take this over like a hot dog or a hamburger, which is like what you see as street food in America today. I would gladly have one of these. Here's your next one. Some rice. I don't know what these are, maybe lentils? My grandma makes this. It is rice with beans, the, a classic in Latin American countries. I gotta get some of these, whatever these are. It's not spicy at all, but I think the intent was to be a little spicy with some sort of peas in it. That is really good rice. It has a lot of flavor in it. You can taste like salt and spices in it. Try one of these little guys. 
it tastes like beans. It's got a ton of flavors coming at you, you know, it's giving you a left and it's giving you a right, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. This is arroz con gandules. It is yellow rice mixed with pigeon peas. Oh, pigeon peas? I hate peas but these don't taste like peas at all. It's one of the signature rice dishes of Puerto Rican cuisine and is mainly served at Christmas Eve dinner along with pasteles. Okay, yeah, that's, I, it's, it's good rice. Like, I could totally see myself eating this with like a whole hearty meal and being very satisfied with it. Here's your last dish. Oh, it looks like a brownie. Good old ketchup. I mean, I mean, what they say, you could put it on cardboard and it would taste good, so there's no way this one's tasting bad. It looks like a sweet potato thing because it's orange. That looks like some type of meat. Mm. Mm. You're, you're kind of expecting it to be kind of crunchy because it looks so crunchy, but it's soft on the inside and super duper sweet. It tastes like beef maybe or chi from looking at it, it looks like chicken or possibly crawfish this is acapuria de hueyes while it can be made many ways this one is a crab filled cassava fritter made with green bananas and taro leaves okay yeah that's it's like packed with flavor you look inside and there's just so much going on but it's so good this is also considered the fried version of pasteles some puerto ricans would say that christmas without this dish is like thanksgiving without turkey oh yeah that's true I remember having Christmas fest there. One thing I'm always excited for on the holidays is the great food. So I mean, if I go to Puerto Rico around Christmas, boom, you got you got great food. So, which one of these Puerto Rican dishes would you recommend people eat? Second, second one. The yuca frita. Pastarillos. I have to go with baglao. It was absolutely delicious. Acapuria, the last dish I tried. It's super good. There's a lot of stuff going on. Acapuria and then a pastel or empanada thing. Those were so good. It feels like home. I like the pastel, pas, pastel ijos or empanadas. The thing about living here is that we get to experience a lot of other cultures and I love experiencing the cultures through food. Thanks for watching us try Puerto Rican dishes on the React channel. What meals should we try next? Let us know in the comments. See you later, guys. What's up, guys? Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We have a ton of episodes coming out soon featuring more countries.